after a gap we are starting with our lecture eight series aim is to have continuity in our communication skills because lecture eight is one thing where we really achieve that the momentum is picked up you gain your confidence you keep practicing organizing your thoughts and more importantly if you discontinue it you will certainly lose confidence about participation in gd interview part where you are answering so many questions and at ssb level when you answer back you need to prove that you have got organizing skills you have got effective communication you have got confidence you have that english which is actually translating your views in a correct perspective per perspective many a times you want to say something and something gets distorted to the listener why it happens because you are not having enough practice to speak so these all things get covered when you speak regularly okay renuka you can go ahead subodh you keep yes, time sir. yes sir you can start okay good morning everyone so my uh, today's topic is uh, indian system of medicine so as we know that the uh, history of this herbal medicine is uh, as long as our human civilization and uh, uh, from the ancient times uh, we know that uh, plants uh, plants are used as a uh, as a medicine in various countries like uh, uh, india china egypt etc and uh, very uh, in uh, recent times various institutions uh, uh, have uh, have been made as like the uh, allo uh, allopathic uh, system and uh, recognize uh, recognizing this uh, very uh, contribution uh, of non non allopathic drugs uh, gov uh, government of india created a new uh, department uh, known as the indian system of medicine uh, 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 and uh, homeopathy in 90, uh, 1995 and uh, uh, and uh, later on this department is known as the uh, ministry of ayush and uh, so this uh, indian system of medicine includes the uh, five uh, five types of uh, five types of system like uh, ayurvedic system yoga and na uh, naturopathy then unani system uh, homeopathic system and, and siddha system so uh, talking uh, talking about the siddha uh, siddha system so uh, siddha means the achievers and uh, siddhars who are uh, means uh, who are the, uh, the person who are uh, who achieve uh, achieve the result uh, results uh, uh, in the medicine and uh, this uh, this system it generally uh, fo uh, focuses on the uh, three humors that is vat pitta and kapha and uh, uh, this uh, uh, from this system uh, means its uh, main aim uh, is to uh, means this uh, uh, to cure the uh, disease uh, through the pulse reading or uh, uh, color of the body uh, or uh, uh, status of the digestive system uh, next one is uh, the ayurveda system as we know that uh, it is the uh, uh, it is the most uh, mostly used uh, system uh, in uh, day to day life and uh, this this system firstly originated in the uh, north india and uh, this is uh, generally based on the uh, uh, hypothesis that everything in universe is uh, composed of five uh, elements that is the space air solid and liquid then talking about the uh, unani system so it is originated in a uh, greece and uh, it is uh, uh, mainly based on the two theories that is hippocratic and uh, pythagorean theory then talking about the uh, homeopathic system so uh, it was uh, uh, it was origin uh, uh, means it was uh, developed in the 18th century and uh, it is based on the uh, 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 based on the like your life then uh, can continue yes renuka you can continue then talking about the naturopathy and uh, yoga system so uh, naturopathy uh, it uh, means that uh, this 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 th uh, theory is the drugless therapy and it is based on the nature of law means uh, 
means the panchakarma that is uh, and uh, this system is uh, mainly uh, mainly uh, means it gives the attention uh, on the eating or uh, eating or living habits of a person then talking about the yoga so as we know that uh, in day to day life uh, people are very health conscious uh, uh, conscious about uh, conscious about their health and uh, uh, very uh, various yoga uh, yoga sessions are uh, uh, various yoga sessions are there so uh, and uh, this uh, in in the bhagavad gita it is said that the yoga is a journey of the self through the self and to the self and as we know that there are various advantages of the yoga uh, that is uh, it boost our uh, confidence then uh, relaxing uh, tensions from uh, my, uh, mind or improve uh, uh, muscle strength then talking about the uh, allopathic medicine so it was first practiced in europe and north america in 19th century and uh, as we know that uh, in day to day life allopathic system uh, is uh, plays a major role in uh, 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 to cure uh, various uh, diseases and uh, uh, emergency conditions so uh, in the end i would like to say that uh, as as we know that allopathic uh, allopathic medicine gives the uh, 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 frequent or quick, uh, quick effect uh, uh, to uh, cure any diseases but uh, uh, to preserve uh, preserve our uh, 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 preserve our uh, uh, basic uh, system that is uh, ayurvedic or homeopathy uh, system uh, we uh, we should uh, we should more focuses uh, focus on this uh, all this system and as we know that in uh, in corona also uh, most of, uh, means most of the people are uh, uh, people are uh, taking uh, ayurvedic medicine to Uh, uh, to prevent ourselves uh, from the uh, any uh, infection so uh, uh, government of uh, government of india should uh, more uh, also focuses on the uh, uh, all this system thank you okay good uh, renuka from your field uh, you have spoken very important to understand today what is happening around us so much of uh, health consciousness especially after uh, the covid 19 we need to understand that human health has gained lot of importance now we were neglecting it but nowadays you see everyone is conscious reasons are many because there are problems everyone wants to be happy and happiness is actually revolving around around our physical and mental health in today's materialistic society where we have facilities we have technology around us ease of life is there but when mental and physical health is not there we lose everything your happiness is gone and that is how today we see the importance of these all topics which renuka was talking there are indian systems of medicine where apart from allopathy we had some traditional things whether it is ayurveda whether it is yoga yunani siddha or uh, naturopathy homeopathy all these things are actually our ancestors did lot of work on it we lost the touch and today we are rediscovering it or trying to reconnect with the old knowledge and more we do it we will be benefited unfortunately today our eating habits or the food around us is not up to the mark air is polluted water is polluted we have problems for our health because of degradation in environment degradation in our food quality so we need to understand what to eat how to eat and keeping our health in a good state yoga itself is a big subject homeopathy ayurved and you pick up any reasonably 
uh, good city and morning 5 o'clock 6 o'clock you see on the outskirts or on the streets or in the parks a lot of people are now moving for walking cycling running or at least coming out and doing some exercises this is good somewhere we had lost the track for good health people are learning its value that is good and after all at young age you don't realize it but one thing for sure you need to invest your time when you are young for your physical and mental health so that when you are achieving so much in your life but you need to have a good old age where you are not dependent on others where you are at least walking till your last breath you are not handicapped you are not having any disease which actually ruins your life and the family's life nobody desires it but then you cannot just dream you need to work for it otherwise you try and see around there are people who earned so much money wise but they lost on health today at the age of 35 40 45 people are suffering heart attacks and who are suffering it those who actually started their life reaching to a good level and suddenly collapsing they must have done engineering or some kind of medical or some kind of competitive exam they cracked just started their life so much to achieve further so many people are looking up to them and they they suffer some kind of illness and which is a dangerous thing illness especially nowadays cardiac arrest second is cancer cancer of many varieties all these things are problematic so very important at young age right from school and college days we need to have at least if not one hour at least half an hour for our health physical and mental we need to really do your time whether it is 5 days a week or 6 days a week or 7 days a week whatever but at least 4 to 5 days a week i would strongly recommend invest for your old age otherwise what is the use if you are not having a good life in the fag end of your uh, journey okay good renuka after long time a uh, lot of uh, confidence is there your flow is there i remember initial lecture it's hmm? good just continue now we will have more of it so both ready yes sir okay renuka keep time you can start okay so good morning uh, gentlemen uh, my lecture topic is professional education in india so professional education is not a term which is defined today because in the professional education started in india at uh, in uh, around 1000 bc because we know that uh, there are lots of great scientists as well as the great uh, great uh, uh, great doctors physicians they all happened in india like giving example that aryabhatta then the second one is uh, shushrut he did the first uh, eye surgery at that time almost around 500 bc so it tells that professional education thriving is thriving uh, was thriving in india since ancient times and it is also going on in today because uh, w- what is happening today we considering that western uh, professional education uh, came just because britishers entered into india or just because of the western influence we know that the macula committee came and uh, they completely changed the indian system indian sy- education system is pro- is basically based on practical knowledge and not not on theoretical knowledge and one more important thing regarding that uh, Uh, regarding india's professional system that uh, professional education system that indians uh, india in india there is a culture that uh, the teaching should happen in open space and not in the enclosed space uh, in enclosed uh, spaces so we have also uh, took the 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 the, uh, the concept of school from western uh, from the britishers only because it is not a part of india's professional education now if i talk about the professional education so there are lots of institutions which are which which was set up after the after india got independence just like the nits are there iits mba 
then uh, mba institutes iims then uh, aims hospitals uh, aims uh, aims this is one of the most recognized uh, universities as well as one of the most uh, prestigious institutions in india to give or to teach or to impart the qualities in the students regarding their engineering regarding the doc- uh, doctorate and uh, uh, regarding the management levels so these are the professional educations but there are some of the drawbacks as well as some of the benefits also of this professional education the first thing is that we will attract the foreign students because lots of foreign students basically from the african countries or from the south asian countries many students attend uh, the professional education which is happening in in india like in iits in nits and not only that in nda and in ime also we train the foreign cadets so it improves our relations with the foreign nations and it will and it is all and it will also help to uh, it will also help um, that we should exchange the, their culture with our culture then second thing is that uh, ki uh, uh, basically government need to focus on our own people also because uh, many of the people in india they are very poor and they are below poverty line so government should think that uh, we should give professional education not free of cost but the 50 50 50% amount should be there because lot of uh, students they miss their professional education just for the sake of they are not able to pay the required money they want because professional if we get professional education so definitely it will help in the development like giving example of apj abdul kalam he is from a very humble background and because and though he did not give up he completed his professional education and he donated and he and he uh, literally uh, he sacrificed his all life to the uh, missile system that is making missiles for india so that india should be feel protected so this helps that we should uh, maintain our professional education system so lastly i want to conclude that and according to my opinion uh, in professional education system apart from imparting the education i think that we should also focus on our ancient cultures because from ancient since ancient times india has been active in the professional education system and it should be teach in the current professional education system and second thing our ancient um, all the, uh, our ancient knowledge should be included in today's professional system professional education system just like example giving example that uh, the central government made comp- uh, 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 making a initiative that uh, now the mbbs uh, courses should be teach in hindi so hindi so that it would be very beneficial for those students who are from a village background or who can't understand english at all thank you okay professional education is a broad actually concept but how it is relevant if you see in china from 78 onwards for almost 30 35 years they were having such a rapid growth and the reason is their students china ensured their students go for higher education all across the world brain power is very important in national development in india it is not a state centered thing at individual level our students from iits and iims they are doing good they are individually bringing that uh, wealth to themselves but can we do from the nation's point of view we have opened iits and iims we have good colleges good universities but i am little concerned about their ranking in the world we are unfortunately not having top ranking universities in the world yes there can be some politics world level politics in it that deliberately our universities are not figuring into it but just not withstanding that we can improve upon our infrastructure in our universities need to improve quality of education practical oriented education for example we produce so many engineers and all of us will agree the quality part is not up to the mark quality of their education engineers after having done the engineering are supposed to have some standard of assimilation application or some kind of innovative minds research oriented minds but that is not happening except iits we don't see much quality in other colleges second tier nits and all they are also there but then we need to work upon it 
and professional education not only in engineering medical everywhere whether it is fashion technology architect or um, ca level things or hotel management tourism uh, journalism everywhere and more so nowadays in data analytics robotic science artificial intelligence these fields are open for every student not only computer domain because you see invariably every higher education is linked with computers everything is happening on computer for every profession there is a app there is some kind of computer application so this is the importance and uh, recently china had their congress uh, meeting there you can see what emerging china is claiming that future war will be of technological nature so much of investment from china in technology we cannot match but we need to understand that we have to invest in it atmanirbhar your indigenous production is very important today us has banned chips for china why because china is importing more in that hardware than oil they are buying these things semiconductor level things chips you need to understand the importance of it we are buying oil the largest import for us because our population is huge so is the china's but when the two bills are compared it speaks so many things how much technology centered china is their productions are more of technology oriented because semiconductor technology or chips are there in everything now everything is automation requires chips and that is why taiwan's importance increases and more to understand all these things we will cover later today we just had two sincere students who uh, practiced okay good renuka subodh anything to ask otherwise we will finish yes i want to ask one question uh, it means if uh, india get the permanent membership uh, at the un uh, means can it affect uh, the uh, means decision making in uh, means recent war also uh, ukraine and uh, russia or yes uh, uh, we need that permanent membership because at world level though its importance is going down because you see there are so many agreements but uh, the compliance part or adhering to it is almost nobody is bothered whatever us was having the monopoly today we are heading towards multipolar world order earlier we had us and russia as major powers now it is china india japan germany or uk us russia as such all these are emerging australia south africa brazil all these are countries which are actually coming up and saying that we are also there middle east iran is not listening to anyone there are so many things happening okay there are some countries which works on the directions of us few countries for example israel because they are part of their own things canada is as good as uh, uh, a subordinate to us they will obey whatever us says but there are many countries which now wants to stand on their own so this permanent membership we want because it definitely increases the status and uh, power at the world level you can have some agreements in your favor today what china is doing china is able to balance its position it is creating so many problems yet 
it is having trade satisfactory trade with almost all countries everyone is condemning china's many policies but still it is managing its say business interest everything they are managing so this is the importance of permanent membership when we achieve it today we have improved our uh, international standing but we will have further strength in our say that is the importance because you pass so many decisions then other countries depend upon you that in our favor please vote all those things matter isn't it so that is important okay gayatri oh, sorry renuka so both yes sir just aim next attempt you are just crossing the barrier okay yes sir renuka you have any uh, ssb chance no sir sir actually i want guidance for the both exam mcat and cds this time na yes sir okay you okay. can uh, okay we will have a meeting you come or physically we will uh, speak on this hmm? subodh um, then um, renuka and group subodh you know how many are preparing we will have a organized meeting okay yes sir we will do that okay we will end here have a good time bye jai hind jai hind sir jai hind sir